Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today I wanted to do a quick video on our spiral classifier and dewatering screw. And this is actually a really pretty versatile piece of equipment. It's designed to take the tailings off the shaker table, and the larger material will settle down and get augered and dewatered, and only the fine material will go into the tailings pond uh, and, and turn into tailings. So let me walk you through a few features on the screw, and then we'll take a look at how it works. So we place our spiral classifier right at the discharge of the shaker table. It takes the number four material off the shaker table and into this settling pond in the spiral classifier. And the way the spiral classifier works is the size of the settling pond will determine the size of the material that comes out into the tailings pond. And I always equate it to a pebble in a teacup you can flush out with just a little bit of water, but a pebble in a swimming pool you can never flush it out of the bottom of the swimming pool. So it's the size of your uh, retention pond, which is going to determine the size that goes out of the tailings, and that's regulated by these three different ports. And so right now it's set on the, the uppermost port, which allows for the settling basin to be the largest, the largest volume, and only the finest material will come out. The lower you set it, the smaller the settling basin will be, and the larger material will come out. Roughly speaking, the lowest port down here discharges about 100 mesh minus. This is about 200 to 250 and this is 300 to 400 and smaller and that will depend on the feed size a little bit as well. So the large particle size material falls down through the settling basin here and makes a pile on the bottom and then gets augered out by the screw and as it augers out it, it augers it up and out of the basin and then the water runs back down so the material is effectively dewatered and it augers it all the way up and into either a pile or a bin that we have here. And one of the big advantages for a lot of our customers is they're mining in areas where they don't have a lot of water. And so they have to recirculate a lot of their water or over and over again. And one of the main uh, uses of this piece of equipment is to actually just dewater the tailings. They're not necessarily gonna take them and rerun them through the system, but they don't want to have them go into their tailings pond and fill it up because that water is very, very valuable to them. So they auger them out, dewater them, and that allows for a lot more recirculation of their water and their tailings pond doesn't fill up with rock. This screw turns about 10 RPM, so it goes really, really slow. And the flights are a quarter inch, material and we've put holes in them so that the water can uh, run down more easily. There's a, about a half inch to three quarter inch gap between the spiral flights and the trough on the spiral classifier and that allows for a sand bed to build in the bottom of the trough and it keeps the wear on the trough to a very minimum so the sand is working over a sand bed rather than right on the steel. A lot of people ask how long the flights will last We've had this in our system for a couple months now. We've run several tons of material out of it, and you can see that the paint, the paint's not even worn off the flights yet. So the wear on the machine is, is very, very little. And these flights will last a long, long time. If you come down to the end here, you can see one of the things about our spiral classifiers, we keep the bearing outside of the slurry. The bearing is completely separate from the water, the shaft penetrates the, the basin here, and that way you don't have any grease in the water, but you also don't have your bearing getting slurry and grit in the bearing and wearing out the bearing. So the bearing is completely removed from the high wear area. So this is the discharge side of the screw and the material augers up the trough. There's a hole cut in the trough here with a little drip lip, and the material is augered up, falls out the hole into this bin. It could be a bin, it could be a super sack, it could be a pile. But I wanted to show you the dewatered material and the size. This is anywhere from probably 20 mesh up to 30, 40, 50 mesh is most what you can see here. And it's nice, it's dewatered, it's ready to be either disposed of, or if there's still appreciable values in here, you can run it back through the system to grind it finer. And that's one of the ways a lot of our customers say, I need 100 or 200 or 300 mesh grind size. Spiral classifier will 
auger the larger material up out of the ball mill or out of the hammer mill that can then be rerun through the system to get the desired grind size and only the finest two or three hundred mesh material will go out to the tailing spawn. So here's the material that I dug out of the bottom of our tailings pond. And as you can see, it's, it's extremely fine material. You really can't even feel the grains in your hand. And so it's somewhere between that 325 mesh and smaller. We've sold these machines for spiral classifiers, dewatering screws, and screw conveyors. The current version is 16 feet long and it'll do up to about 5 tons an hour. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let us know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.